This book is called How It Happens at the Ice Cream Factory. It was written by Chandra Schofner, and the photographs were done by Bob and Diane Wolf. This book is nonfiction. It's like taking a field trip to the local dairy store. In this case, the people who wrote the book went to the Kemp's Ice Cream Factory. Kemp's is available in places like Omaha and Sioux City and Des Moines and, and Kansas City. So if you're from any of those towns, you might know Kemp's Ice Cream. But surely you know of some place that makes ice cream not too far from you. Ice cream is delicious alone with pie and cake or sipped as a shake or malt. New flavors like raspberry chocolate truffle are being invented and devoured every day. Still, the most popular flavor of all time is vanilla. Come along. Find out how one factory makes this cold, creamy treat. A tanker backs into the factory and unloads 5,500 gallons of fresh cream from the dairy. That's almost 21,000 liters. The cream travels through pipes to storage silos inside the factory. The silos keep the cream refrigerated at 45 degrees Fahrenheit, about 7 degrees centigrade, or even less. Ingredients. Ice cream has two main ingredients, liquid sugar and cream. The mixture of sugar and cream shown above is called raw mix. Here is the raw mix. Discovered in France by the scientist Louis Pasteur, pasteurization. Pasteurization is a process of heating ingredients to keep bacteria or germs from harming the raw mix. The company pasteurizes the raw mix in two ways. One method uses a high temperature short time pasteurizer. They call it the HTST. The HTST quickly heats the raw mix to 185 degrees Fahrenheit, 85 degrees centigrade. Holding tubes keep the raw mix at that temperature for an additional 32 and a half seconds. The extra heating time makes sure bacteria are held in check. The batch pasteurization process. Big batches of the raw mix are pasteurized in vats or large containers pictured above. Here are those vats. The smaller vat holds 1,000 gallons and the large vat 2,000 gallons. The raw mix is heated to a temperature of 155 degrees Fahrenheit and maintained for 30 minutes. Flavors. Employees add color and different flavors such as vanilla, cotton candy, or egg custard to vats. Here, a worker is adding vanilla to the mix. Large turning blades called agitators stir the flavors and colors into the mix. Then comes the freezing. Now the flavored mix is ready to go to the world's largest freezers. Each freezer can freeze up to 12,000 gallons of ice cream an hour. Large blades inside the freezers churn the ice cream as it gets thick and cold. Special swirls. Ribbons of flavor inside ice cream are called variegates. Some common variegates are fudge, fruit, caramel, or peanut butter. Variegates arrive at the factory in large barrels, some weigh more than 500 pounds. Fruit, candy, and nuts. Inclusions, which are bite-sized pieces of fruit, candy, and nuts, are added to the ice cream by a machine. Nuts are stirred to keep them from clumping together. 
The amount and kind of inclusions added to the ice cream depends on the recipe being made at the time. Chopped nuts spin quickly through the high-speed sifting machine before being added to the ice cream. Ice cream comes in cartons of many shapes and sizes. Just the right amount of ice cream is squeezed from pipes into the cartons. There are pints, one and a half quart scrounds, and pails of both half gallon and gallon sizes. Those also come in liter sizes. Scrounds, funny, interesting word. Scrounds. Scrounds are oval shaped packages. Schools and restaurants often use containers filled with three gallons of ice cream. Three gallon containers are sent to the freezer on metal guides that look like a roller coaster. Freezing. Ice cream cartons move along a spiral conveyor to a special freezer called a hardener, where it's a chilly 20 degrees below Fahrenheit. Cartons of ice cream stay in the hardener for two hours and 15 minutes until the ice cream is completely frozen. Packaging. From the hardener, the ice cream travels along a conveyor to a machine that wraps plastic film from large rolls around each carton. This forms a safety seal around the carton. The frozen containers of ice cream slide down a ramp and clunk together at the bottom in groups. A machine bundles the containers together for shipping. Quality inspection. The company wants to give each customer the best quality ice cream. Some cartons are taken off of the packaging ramp and inspected. The inspector checks that the ice cream has the right amount of inclusions. Inspectors also check the ice cream to make sure it has the right balance of ingredients, including flavorings and sugar. Ice cream sandwiches. A popular pre-made frozen treat is the ice cream sandwich. Here, a worker loads a machine with chocolate wafer cookies. A pump forces a pre-measured dab of ice cream downward, then cookies are automatically placed on each side to form an ice cream sandwich. Boxes of ice cream sandwiches are grouped and bundled then sent through a heated tunnel. The temperature in the tunnel is warm enough to shrink wrap plastic quickly around the boxes, but not melt the ice cream. The freezing warehouse. Pallets of ice cream products are taken immediately to a large in-house freezer. In the freezer, workers wear snowsuits and drive forklifts to transport the ice cream where it will be stored on shelves until it is shipped to a grocery store or restaurant. Shipping. When the factory receives orders for ice cream, workers load the pallets or boxes inside a truck. A freezer unit blows cold air inside the truck so the ice cream stays frozen on its way to the grocery store. At the grocery store, the cartons of ice cream are unpacked and displayed in a freezer case so customers can buy them for a sweet, creamy, satisfying treat any time of the year. When you are learning new things about a new topic, sometimes there are new words you have to learn. At the back of this book, uh, Chandra Schofner made sure to include a glossary. That's like a list of the fancy words that she used. And in the glossary, um, she has all these different words. So an agitator, um, that's the machine that turns blades that stir flavors and colors into the mix. You know what inclusion is, but inclusions for ice cream makers are bite-sized pieces of fruit, candy, and nuts. Those get included in the ice cream. 
Pasteurization. That's heating food ingredients for a specific time to kill harmful germs. All the milk we drink in North America, almost all of it, is pasteurized. Raw mix. Liquid sugar and cream that are the main ingredients for making ice cream. That's what all the ice cream flavors start out as. That funny word, scrounds. It is the rectangular shaped containers with rounded corners. They look sort of like this. A rectangle, but kind of rounded corners. Silos. Silos are the large containers that hold ice cream. You might know farm silos where they put grain. This is a similar idea. And finally, variegates. This comes from things that are a variety of extra things. Swirls of flavor such as fudge, fruit, caramel, or peanut butter. In the ice cream business, those are called variegates. Down at the bottom here, um, the authors and the publishers have a couple websites. One is for this company's ice cream, the Kemp people, and also from the International Dairy Foods Association. A fun place to order really good ice cream is right here. The Penn State Creamery at Penn State University, where people learn uh, about the dairy industry. And on the West Coast, in Davis, California, a land-grant college, this is a website for the original Davis Creamery. But look in your own state. There's surely a place in your state or a state nearby where they make wonderful ice cream, or gelato, or sorbet, or custard. It's not a treat you can have every day, but it's fun to learn about. If you like this book, the authors and the photographers have done a series of other books, and even other authors and photographers have added to that series. The series is called How It Happens. So how it happens at the post office, how it happens at the pizza factory, things like that. This book has been How It Happens at the Ice Cream Factory. It was written by Chandra Schofner, and the photographs were taken by a team of husband and wife photographers, Bob and Diane Wolfe.